Now the tail isn't always super helpful for a red tail because when they're young, their tail does look a lot like this. This is called a broad winged cock. Has anyone, was anyone thinking broad winged cock? Yeah. Does anyone think you've ever seen one before? Yeah. We have a lot of broad winged hawks around, but if you see a bird at a distance and it's just brown, it's just over there, right? It can be really hard to identify. So when a broad winged hawk is flying, that's when we see them most often. They're doing big, lazy circles. I'll show you what they look like from underneath, but she's not going to be flying around today. But we've got a nice photo. Thank you so much. We've got a nice photo of what a broad wind looks like when they're flying. So, oh, she's putting out her wings. <laughs> so you can see while you're looking at the broad wing from below as they're flying overhead, you would see that stripy tail. That's a really good way to identify a broad wing hawk. If it's doing big, wide circles and you see that stripy tail, the sun coming through it, you're probably looking at a broad wing hawk. I am going to walk around so you can all get a chance to see her more closely. But I mentioned before, this is a diurnal predator. Again, we are diurnal critters. They are out and about in the daytime, and so they're going to have some different adaptations. She's showing off those broad wings. The reason they're called broad wings is they've got these big, stocky wings. They are incredible. Small animals, maybe even a squirrel. They can eat a lot of different things. 
And so for diurnal hawks and other raptors that hunt in the daytime, if you're mainly eating things on the forest floor, you have to migrate. So right now we're coming up on hawk migration season, and you might start to see a lot of hawks flying around. They might be really high up, but you might notice big groups of circling raptors. You'd be like, what are those? They're like tiny little specks in the air. In a couple weeks, our broadwing hawks here in New Hampshire are going to start migrating south. So that is really, really cool to look for. They will migrate in the thousands. There will be huge, huge groups of hawks as they're all moving down south. And they'll be flying for about two months. They'll fly around 4,000 miles and end up in South America. And some of them will end up in Central America too. That is wild. This is a pretty small animal to be making that incredible journey. Now this one, she lives with us, so she's not actually gonna be flying down there. But her wild counterparts, her wild Broadway hawks, are starting that journey soon because they can't hunt with the snow, which is really cool. All right, anything, any comments or questions about Broadway hawks? What is your comment? Sometimes when we have like a mouth problem or a rat problem in our own, we 
This is a hawk and owl program, so that's my hint. It will be a hawk or an owl. <laughs> we shall see. But in the meantime, were you able to find some call and hook up?
bigger out. 